Hello everyone, and today I'm going to try to show you quickly how to run an independent samples t-test in SPSS. Now as you can see, I already have data entered into SPSS. Now what I want to do today is look at these two variables, um, OWL exam score, which is from the Harry Potter books. OWLs were ordinary wizarding levels. It's like an um, I-step test. So I have exam scores for, there's actually 40 participants, you can't see all of them on, on the video because I have it zoomed in. But then I have gender listed, or ones I have listed as witches, and twos as wizards. So we're wanting to see if there's a gender difference. So are the the exam scores for males and females equivalent? That would be our null hypothesis that they are equivalent, that there's no difference between genders when it comes to the OWL exam score. So the first thing we do is click analyze and then we're wanting to compare means, right, because we have our groups the uh, witches and wizards, is our, those are our groups we want to compare their means on the on this exam and we go to independent samples t-test right here and this box pops up and like I said our groups would be gender so that would go under grouping variable now we have to click define groups when we click define groups this box pops up I just had to move it over with our group one we had listed as one so that would be females or witches and group two is two so male wizards right so we click continue there and then for our test variable we want to test it's the OWL exam score so that's going to move over there and then all we have to do from at this point is click OK and when we do I can move this box when we do we get these results. Now as you can see up here we have the, the statistics like the means and the standard deviations of both groups. We have witches, there are 22 witches in our study and 18 wizards and the mean of the witches exam score was 80.5 percent and the mean of the wizards was 69.56 percent and then here are the standard deviations. So, um, SPSS pulls these apart and it gives you, instead of giving you the numbers that I have listed under the data, it gives you the values that I put in under variable view. Now, when we check our t-test, we can see right here that uh, our, first we have to check for Levine's test for equality of variances, and if this is significant, then we have to use this bottom line, right? if this is significant but it is not at 0.05 or less it's it's considered significant so we have no violation here so our assumption of equality of variance is still intact we don't have to use this number down here we can use the top line so we can check our significance level over here so we have our t of 2.385 and our significance, which is our p-value for a two-tailed test, was 0.022. So p equals 0.022, and that is below 0.05. So we can reject the null here, and we can say that there is a difference between these groups, right? So there is a difference in the exam score between witch and wizard on the OWL exam. As a matter of fact, because they give us the means, we can go further and interpret this as witches tend to perform better, right? Because their percentage was higher. So they got an 80.5% on average, and the um, wizards got a 69.56%. So not only can we reject the null and say something's happening and that um, there is a difference between these groups on this school, on this exam, we can tell you which one, which group scored better because of the means up here. 